We, we were just talking about how lovely you are. You are the nicest guy on telly. But then, what, oh, thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Oh. But why, why would you laugh at that? <laughs> <laughs> no, we were that? sharing something before the camera came on. Is that why? Yeah, we, won't we tell were. You what it was. No, <laughs> we, we were kind of also the chatting North about North. how confusing your new game show is. It looks great, yes. and because we're all in the same building, we have to say that we saw the build-up to all this because there were days, weren't there, Jane, oh. where there were lobsters and Marilyn Monroe I and Elvis I went up walking the stairs past. All day and there were about thirty people in fancy dress coming down the stairs at me, like Marilyn Monroe, Elvis <laughs> Presley, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a corn on the cob. I think I saw it. <laughs> well, the thing is, right. The idea of the show is you've got to come dressed up to stand out. And if you stand out, then you'll get picked. And do you just play. pick people at random? Honestly, picked I'm allowed to, I get play... picked to play the game. So it's a play, and so it's called Pick Me. OK. And um, they allow me to pick whoever I want. And the basic idea of the game is you've got three people and one's been given the correct answer. The other two are going to lie. And if you can pick the right one who've got the correct answer, then you win Linda's the prize. face. So it's a bit like Call My Bluff. It's a bit like yeah. Call My Bluff. While dressed as a corn on the cob. It's like... <laughs> yeah. well, this, this will make you laugh. This will make you laugh, mate. <laughs> on the way to the studio one day, I was driving past uh, Waterloo Station and literally there was a Jedi Knight, there was a hot dog, <laughs> and I was like, there in the <laughs> So you have to be a good liar. You have to be a good, good liar. liar. And it's amazing what people will do to try and win a, a holiday um, or oh. indeed a thousand pounds, because they will literally say anything to get you to believe them. It, it, it's quite sure. It's the and show. Is it that... you that has to believe them? No, it's an, and some new I picked from the audience. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Right. When you sit, because you've been filming Birds of a Feather, haven't yeah. you? Well, to, to watch it tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. What time is it on? It's Three o'clock. Three o'clock. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'll be home from here by then. Yeah. <laughs> Three o'clock. <laughs> Um, but it's, it's like, I'll tell you what it's like, it's like a Saturday night show, when you think of like, strike it lucky, you bet, uh, the price is right. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah, like, come on down. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like Why have they put it in the afternoon then? Well, because I think it's... <laughs> because I'll tell you why. Honestly, I think the reason they've done it is that it's just something fresh. It's not yeah, an antique yeah. show. It's yeah. not, you know, it's not a serious. It's not a serious quiz. You don't need to be a brain box. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at that. <laughs> You'll do very well, Linda. <laughs> You, you do know you said that. Yeah. You do know you didn't she just think that. I it came out. Um, <laughs> but you just need to be streetwise to yeah. be able to look at someone and go, do you know what? I think you're lying. Do you think you'd be good at it? I do, I think because uh, because of my like magic background. Right. Yeah, I think yeah. I'll be able to suss out. Magic background? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. you I know. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it magic? <laughs> I yeah. love magic. And you're... Were you a member of the Magic Circle? Yeah, I, was, I, I became the youngest member. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to like... All... <laughs> um... That's like an Oscar, isn't it, for magicians? It is, really. To get in there, it's like a, it's like a closed sort of community, really. But didn't and... you then get suspended? Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna Thanks, Jane! <laughs> So this is what happened. Let me explain. No, but you've so... been in and out like the hokey cokey of the magic. <laughs> 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 We're going job. back to your first subject. <laughs> Tell us. Right. So what happened was, um, I used to do kids TV. That's where I came from, and. Um, there was a show called Fingertips that myself and Fern Cotton used to do. And it was like a make and do show. So I said, look, I think what we should do, we should, we should try and get kids, you know, in, interested in magic. So why don't we do a trick and then reveal how it's done and show them how to make it? Then the Magic Circle deemed that it was too good to give away. So I right. got suspended. OK. Now, the problem is, they kept repeating the show. Oh. <laughs> so every time they repeated it... You were out of I was out of it. <laughs> Is that big a deal to be it? Do you, is it like to, you have to be in the magic circle? Is that you don't have to be in it? But I tell you what, you do get you get amazing magicians from all around the world, and they do lectures and that sort of stuff. So it, it's, it's good for a your good craft. Thing to have. And that it sort is, of yeah, thing. you do learn a lot. So. Stephen, I can't have you on without asking you about catchphrase because it is a well-documented fact that you know I'm not the brightest spark in the box. I may be very good at challenging a corn in the cob. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Um, I love catchphrase, and I went on catchphrase earlier in the year, yes. and it hasn't come out yet. And my no. kids are now thinking I've made it up. No, it starts. It starts again in November. Yay! Yay! Yeah, you are definitely I loved on. it. I you loved know, it you... so much. I did hold on, right. hold on a minute. I've got someone telling me something in my ear. Apparently, oh. you've upset Simon Cow. What did you do to him? Oh. You know what? Oh, what a terror, aren't no. you? <laughs> From being the nicest man on TV <laughs> to the 
in five minutes. Come on, what'd you do? OK, so what happened was... Um, it was a joke that just went a bit wrong. Oh. So, when Dermot left X Factor, uh, we were launching Britain's Got Talent. And I do Britain's Got More Talent, the spin-off show. Yes. And so the, the, all of the interviews were going, oh, do you reckon you'll do at the X Factor if you were offered it? And it was, I was constantly being asked it. So I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to say, Simon's already offered it, and I've turned it down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it went down oh. like a lead balloon. <laughs> And I got a tweet going, let me make this clear, Stephen Mulhern has just been a naughty boy. <laughs> so, but it's all fine now. Good. Yeah, Good. Hey, so and, I've still got my job. Did he actually ring you? <laughs> no, 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 all right. no, it's all right. And in ten seconds or less, apparently oh. you might be working with a cheeky Geordie duo. Yes, next year, uh, uh, yeah, next year, away from Britain's Got Talent, you will be seeing something extra, um, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Good. So touch with it, it's all going all right. Because we, we love the lot of you all working together. You are...